The inconvenient truth this hour, winter ain't letting up, which has Oklahoma Senator James Inhofe fed up. At the man who won a Nobel Prize saying that the earth was warming up, Inhofe has long called warming a hoax. Today, he is doing one better, dramatically better, demanding the Justice Department investigate what he calls the greatest scientific scandal of our generation. First witness he wants to see testified, Al Gore. With us now, James Inhofe. Senator, any reaction as yet from the former vice president? Well, we haven't heard anything from Al Gore, Neil, and uh, I don't anticipate that we will, but we'd like to have him come, hold a hearing in Environment Public Works. Every assertion that he made in his science fiction movie has now been disproven. Sea level rising, Himalayas, melting, all this stuff. The significant thing right now, though, is the hearing that we had this morning because we have the minority report that we put together, which shows that climate gate, fixing the science, uh, cooking the science, actually took place. We have it all documented, and people are being investigated right now. The problem for us in America is, you and I have talked before on how destructive economically it would be if we were to have cap and trade, any of these bills that were passed, the McCain-Lieberman bill or any of these. It would be the largest tax increase in the history of America, somewhere, something over $300 billion a year. Now, since they can't get that passed, in Congress, the Senate won't pass that, they're trying to do it through the Clean Air Act, through the EPA, through an endangerment finding. Here's the key, though. The endangerment findings based on the science that the IPCC has come forth with, that's the United Nations, and that's all been debunked. So, you know, we're, we're destroying the economy of a nation. But you're, you're saying something more, bad. aren't you, Senator? You're saying lately that some of the weather we have been seeing, more to the point, snow right now in mid Texas, something that that neck of the woods rarely sees. In fact, they're looking at a multi decade record there as a result. That this can't be global warmer. Well, many of, of the so called warmest, uh, and I'm going to be talking to one of them very shortly, say that this is all in keeping with global warming. What say you? Well, I think it's ridiculous. You know, if this had been a, a, a warm spell that we've been going through over the last five years, they'd always say, ah, see that? That's global warming. But it hasn't been. We're in our ninth year of a cooling spell. And everyone understands that that's the case, but it's driving them crazy. You think about the years that people have put into this thing just hoping they would be right. Now we find they're not. And now we find the big thing is, we can't forget it, they're, they cooked the science on which all of this was predicated. Now, now, now you want, By the way, you're I imploring the Justice report. Department, I know you have a lot of data with you, but it, you, you're imploring the Justice Department to look into this. Uh, any reaction from uh, no, no, Justice looking into it? it we're that investigating. is exactly right. What we're trying to do is get the IGs to investigate it. I asked uh, uh, Lisa uh, th this morning, the, the director of the EPA, if she would get her IG to investigate the allegations against the science. I don't think she is going to do that. But well, we need what to is get an, the IGs I'm sorry, what, what is an IG? Uh, Inspector General. I got you. The Inspector General for the EPA, for NASA, for NOAA, for all these different groups to do their own investigation. That's what they're supposed to do for a living. Then we send that to the Justice Department. That's happening, and by the way, in, in uh, UK. And there they found the violations of FOIA, that's the Freedom of uh, Information Act, that, that, was, that is a criminal offense. Unfortunately, in Great Britain, the statute of limitations is already run. Well, that could be the case here, in which case it would be a, a criminal violation. Do you think, Senator, uh, to put this in the most simple of terms, that the weather has kind of been of late, the wind at your back, a cold wind of that, but that it actually has helped your argument, uh, even though, you know, environmentalists dispute this, that that, that, well, I, that has you know, propelled this talk that maybe the earth isn't warming up? Neil, I don't know whether you watched the saga of the igloo or not, but the igloo was the one that my grandkids built uh, during this last snowstorm when all the planes were down. I followed it quite and, closely. Uh, then, the, then they put the sign on top, Al Gore's new, uh, new house. So, yes. uh, yeah, it's, it is, we have set records in my state of Oklahoma. We've had the coldest winter, the greatest blizzards and all that. Same here in Washington and up all along the uh, East Coast. And more is coming. So that drives them crazy to think that uh, they're trying to change now and say, well, we never did say global warming. We said uh, extreme weather. All right. That, thank that, you that very much. Hunt. And by the way, we did put out a call to uh, Al Gore's offices as yet. None have been returned. Uh, but if that changes, we'll let you know.